Hello. Okay, so this is our third mentorship call, right? And we're gonna go over just a couple things. Um, we're, we're gonna make this one very short and sweet um, for a couple of reasons. But one, I want you to stay focused on inviting and following up. Your, the challenge group that you are putting together, I think a lot of people chose next Monday. So we should really focus on making sure that we are filling that and following up with people and getting them in there, right? So that's number one. Number two, okay, so what are we, we're gonna go over um, staying active, which I'll explain in just a minute. We're gonna go over um, how to switch your preferred placement, which is just like very logistical, simple to do, but very important to do so that you can hit your first um, rank advancement, which is called Emerald, which is also super simple. How I sign everybody who buys a challenge pack up with a coach account. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about never letting somebody not have a solution. Like having, always finding at least one part of the solution for them. So we'll talk about that. So first things first is staying active. So once you start building a team, um, you'll be earning, you'll be earning um, bonuses off of team, off of your team bonus. And I'm going to talk to you a minute about how to add people as coaches, which is what I do all the time. And it's gotten me to like my first couple of rank advancements, promotions in the business. Um, but to stay active and to earn those team bonuses, you have to be an active coach and to be an active coach, you have to be at least purchasing something that gives you 50 PV every four to five weeks, right? So one of the simplest, I, I like to make things as simple as absolutely possible. The simplest way to do this is to be on Shakeology, auto ship, and never think about it twice, right? It's the simplest way to do this. You won't have to worry about anything then. And then once, um, if you don't drink Shakeology, another way to do this is by having Recover and Energize shipped to you monthly, right? But if you postpone that shipment, then it might, you might end up becoming inactive. And you don't wanna do that for multiple reasons. One, your team bonuses. You want to be active so you get your team bonuses. But two is every, like you're not the only one adding people under your team. The way that we're set up, other people might be adding under your team that you'll be benefiting from their volume, okay? So for example, maybe I sponsored Lynette right? And Lynette is on my team. But then I went and sponsored and Lynette just got started and she's training, right? Actually, Lynette, you probably could go into your back office and see the people underneath you that you don't know, right? Um, and so like maybe I sponsored my next person, Sally, and Sally ends up going under Lynette. Sally's not Lynette's personally sponsored. She didn't, Lynette didn't sponsor her. I did, but she's placed under Lynette. And so anything that Sally orders has a volume point to it, okay? And so later on, when Lynette hits her first promotion, she's going to start earning bonuses off of all the volume underneath her and her team, including the people that I added under her. Now, here's the thing. If you go inactive, and maybe, Amy, you can correct me on this, but if you go inactive, those points, those accumulated points that's, that have been adding up, they go away, right? So let's say Lynette has 20 people under her team, like maybe two people under her team, it doesn't matter. She has people under her team, right? And they're ordering every month and Lynette stays active, right? She might not be banking in on those points yet because she's just learning. But as soon as she gets her promotion, she can now start banking in. But if she goes inactive, all of the accumulated points from week over week over week over week, they go away and start over when she goes active. So going inactive is not a good idea, especially if you're thinking about earning like some kind of income with this business, right? You want to bank, you want to like save like a savings bank. You want those points to just keep accumulating in your account. So that's a huge reason why not to let yourself go inactive. So keep that in mind. A simple, easy way to do it 
is to have something on auto ship that's at least 50 or more PV. Shakeology is 90. Anything that you go, like if you go into your Team Beachbody account and you go to shop, it'll say right next to it how many PV it is, how many points is for that item. Um, sorry, I'm just checking a couple things. I want to mention that questions. Oh, okay, that's for Amy. Cool. Um, so anyway, really important to make sure you stay active. And then when you bring someone onto the team, you can explain to them the same thing or just send them this video or get them into this training. But we make sure that everybody knows that. So that's number one. Okay, so number two, how do I get people started with a coach account? So here's the thing. I see it this way. When I got started as a customer of Shakeology, I got started as a coach right away. And I think about this sometimes. I think about, I, oops, there we go, now I'm brighter. I wouldn't have wanted somebody to not tell me that I could have gotten a discount on my stuff and <laughs> until six months later while I was ordering it for six months, I would have been like, are you kidding me? You could have told me this six months ago, right? So I used to ask everybody. I used to be like, hey, do you want a coach count? It'll save you 25%, blah, blah, blah. I don't anymore. I just do it. I, I put in the share cart instead of adding them as a customer, I add them as a coach. And then I say to them, hey, just so you know, I added you as a coach account. And I just, I forget exactly what I say, but it's in the script. Oh, oh yeah, I can bring it up right here. <laughs> um, and then I let them know that there's a discount added to it. And if they ever wanted to, you know, cancel it, like if they wanted to cancel, if they ever wanted to cancel their Shakeology or their Energize and um, Recover, that they can just cancel the coach account right along with it. There's no contract for it. So that, let me see. Okay, so here is the order info. It's going to say coach account on it. It's totally cool. You do not have to coach like I do. I set my customers up with the coach account as a courtesy so they receive 25% off future orders of Shakeology and other supplements. You'll have this, it's in my script, so you don't have to write all this down. The savings of Shakeology alone offsets the cost of the account and you can cancel it at any point um, either. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. Um, <laughs> there is no contract, right? And so I make sure I say that to them. Amy did mention they do have to be 18 or older to join, so that's something to know also. Um, okay, so that's how I sponsor everybody with a coach account. If they come back and say, I really don't want that, then no worries, I change it up to a customer link and I send them the customer link. I don't argue with them about it, right? but I do just give it to them originally because it just makes sense, right? Um, for myself and for you as a, a, a newer coach, you wanna make sure that after you get one person sponsored, that you, this is really, really, really important, really important. After you get your very first person sponsored with a challenge pack, right? You need to log in to your coach account. In your coach account, I'm going to walk you through it actually because I think it's really important that you see how to do this. Um, it's very simple, but you want to make sure you do it so you're hitting your first promotion. So let me pull it up and I'll show you. Your very first promotion is called um, Emerald. And what that means is you have one active coach on your left and one active coach on your right. So what does that mean? Well, I'm, gonna, I'm about to show you. Okay, let me screen share. Okay, so when you log into your coach account, which is uh, coach.teambeachbody.com, um, you click monitor your business, okay? And then you're gonna come down here under downline. You're gonna come down here to preferred placement. Once you clicked preferred placement, and this is after you sponsored your first person. So after you filled out a share cart for someone and it's for a coach account, right? After they already purchased and you already know that they purchased. Right after that, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna set your, Select 
position to the other side. So if it has left on here already, you're going to change it to right. If it had right on there already, you're going to change it to left, right? And then once you do, you're going to save it. Now, what does that do? So this makes sense, right? You saw this? It's a coach account, monitor my business, come down here to preferred placement. You could do this on your phone too. Preferred placement. Once you're in there, whatever is already selected, if it says selected position, if it says left, put it to right. If it said right, put it to left. So do the opposite. Okay. And make sure you click save. Very important. Okay. So what does that do? Well, your first promotion means that you have, it's called Emerald and you have your first uh, one person on your left leg and one person on your right leg. So what does that mean? When we're building our business and we're adding coaches, we have two legs, two, two teams, basically two streams of people that we're adding. When we have one left, and one right, and they're active, meaning they ordered something with more than 50 PV, which all challenge packs are, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, as long as it has like Shakeology or something in it, it's probably over 50 PV. Then you wanna switch it so that, um, say it went onto your left leg, you wanna switch it so that it, the next person now goes on your right leg. And now you're Emerald, once you have one on your left, one on your right. And that opens up a world of awesomeness for you. I mean, awesomeness. One, you get to start earning money off of all that volume on your team, right? So that's one, earning team bonuses. We're not gonna do totally dive into how much that is and everything right now, but it's an extra way of earning money, right? Number two is you get to start earning leads from the company. There's a couple other things that you have to do to earn those leads. You have to be an active emerald, right? So one person on your left, one person on your right, they have to be active. That's number one. Number two, you have to be hitting success club. So every month that you are, that you help three people. So every month you have success club five or more, and that you're an active emerald or above the a beach body gives you leads. And this is what's so cool about our company. Like for real, this is amazing. I know this sounds like so stupid that I'm so passionate about this, but I have been in other companies, right? I failed. I failed like four other times with four other different companies, right? There's something so cool about Beachbody. Beachbody is literally a household name. Like if you go and ask somebody if they ever heard of P90X or Tony Horton, like they'll be like, yes, right? So many people have heard of the containers or Autumn Calabrese or like, it's a household name. Beachbody is a household name. And because of that, people go online. Oh, and not only that, Beachbody started as an infomercial company, right? So they know how to market. A lot of network marketing companies don't know how to market because it's all referral based, which is cool. That's fine. But we have this like awesome opportunity to kind of be both. They market online. Did you ever go through your like Instagram or Facebook and see all the ads for Beachbody on demand? They are pushing that out like crazy. So here's the deal. When someone sees that ad on their Facebook or on their Instagram or Googling or on Amazon, like when, whenever they're on some blog or whatever, and they see that Beachbody on demand, if they sign up for it, Beachbody will link a coach to that account. Okay. The coach has to be an Emerald and have earned success club that month or the previous month. Right. And so Every, all of these leads that come in, Beachbody will send them to different people. And so we get a lot of free customers every month. When the customer is linked up to you, you don't earn a commission originally on that um, Beachbody On Demand customer until their next subscription goes through. But then you do earn the commission on it for doing nothing with them, right? Unless you hit success club 10. If you hit success club 10, Amy, am I doing so? <laughs> You're like making all kinds of facial expressions. <laughs> if I hit success club 10, then I might get free paid for leads. And, the, and there's a distinction in that, meaning sometimes people actually purchase a full on like annual subscription, or sometimes they purchase Shakeology and sometimes they purchase challenge packs. And when they do, and you hit success club 10, you might get a lead where 
you actually make the commission right away. Does that make sense? So that's why we call them paid for lead. We get paid on their original pur purchase. I hope that makes sense. So anytime you get a lead, any that is your customer from then on. So if they order something, you're gonna get the commission for it. Um, success club. Success club is three challenge packs a month. So it gets a little confusing, Lynette, in the sense that success club, it's success club five is what makes you success club. If you get five points, you are now at success club that month. But all the challenge packs are really two points each. So <laughs> you usually end up with six, you know what I mean? So, but once in a while, they'll give us di different ways to earn one point. So anyway, if you get five points or more, you're success club five. If you get 10 or more, you're success club 10. They don't keep going after that. They're not like success club 25 gets something. You know what I mean? Um, so those are the success club things. Now, also the other thing about success club is if you shoot for success club 10 every month, which is helping five people, you get to go for free on our trip, our annual trip. So annual success club trip, which is hugely awesome. It's just so cool. It's such a good trip. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read these comments. Also, I know it was mentioned to add your first coach as someone that is close to you. Yes, absolutely. So Courtney has an awesome suggestion here. So the other thing is to go Emerald quickly, people will pop, like they'll pop Emerald in like 24 hours. They'll be like, okay, listen, it takes two people to go Emerald, one on my left, one on my right. I'm gonna call my mom and dad and be like, yo, you need to drink Shakeology because it's super healthy for you. And by the way, I'm gonna give you a coach account. <laughs> So a lot of people will do that. Um, something to keep in mind is um, if you have a spouse, you can sign up your spouse too. That's something else that they'll let you do. Um, but something to keep in mind is to put that person, like if you're going to have a person where you literally, we call it a controlled account, where literally you kind of control their account, right? Like a spouse or a very close family member, a parent maybe. Um, we ask, we suggest for your sake, because it'll help you out a lot, to put them on your weak leg. Now, don't let this get you confused. It's not that confusing. If I sponsor, I'm going to use my oils here. If this is you, no, I'm sorry, if this is me, <laughs> and I sponsor Lynette here, I'm sorry, I'm just going to keep using you as an example. If this is me and I sponsor Lynette here, that's not going to work. All right, here's the deal. The, <laughs> um, those aren't going to work because I need to actually show it on. The, your strong leg is the leg in which your sponsor is going to be adding people also. So if you have two here, two sides, the leg that's strong is the leg that you'll see other people under. The weak leg, we call it, is the leg in which your sponsor won't be adding people to it, right? And so I'm gonna suggest that you add that controlled account to your weak leg. And it's very simple to find out, but sometimes it can be weird to find. So just talk to your sponsor coach and ask them which one is your, it's easier for them to see it. Ask them, is this my weak leg or my strong leg? And they'll be able to tell you, very simple. Um, it's, it's easier just to ask them than for me to try to explain it. <laughs> So if you can sponsor your controlled person, like your spouse or your parent or, you know, or something like that, make sure they go on your weak side. For future reasons, um, when it comes to promoting yourself, rank advancing further along, it'll be easier to have them on your weak side. On top of that, you'll be able to earn more money by strategically putting them on your weak leg. So something else to think of. Um, so, okay, those things we were going to go over. Do you have other questions about that one? Success club, um, sponsoring with a coach account. When you do the coach account, all you do is when you go into share a cart, you just click coach instead of customer, right? So that's super simple. The script I have that I just told you is in the Google document for the scripts. I can repeat, like send that again into the group chat. Um, and then let me make sure I went over the other things. Like I said, this one's going to be short. Ah, 
oh yes, this is the most important part. Okay, so the other part is when you're talking to somebody, let's for some for some reason, I like to say call this like the no no customer left behind. So um, if you're talking to somebody and they're really interested, right? They're all in my school. Hey Beth. If they're really interested, but they're really having a, and they gave you your their goals and everything, they're like pretty committed, but they just can't afford it, right? So this isn't everybody, and I wouldn't I wouldn't just jump to this either. I would make sure like they really want this, right? And they just can't afford it right now. I would not just let them go and be like, well, maybe next month, right? I would start asking them other questions. Like, do you want to start with just your fitness? Like if 160 is too much and they definitely can't do it, right? And they're like, well, maybe next month, maybe I can save the money by next month. You can ask them, do you want to start with just your fitness for only like $40? right? If they're interested, this is something that our coach Kaylee, she does so, so well. She'll say, if you're interested, I'll, what she does is she goes into the share cart and she adds a three month membership of Beachbody on demand. Okay. A three month membership of Beachbody on demand is $40, but they don't charge you until after the two week free trial is up. So when you put it into your beach body or into your share cart, like when you add it to the share cart, it actually says zero and they don't get charged for until two weeks later. Right. So then she also will add in if they're like, yes, that sounds like a good idea. And you've collected their email and now you're filling out their share cart. She'll put in the three month and then she'll also add in a tub of energize. Right. And what she'll say, she'll just tell them how it's set up. She'll be like, listen, I have the three month Beachbody on demand in this, on, in this link, you know, um, it doesn't charge you until after the two week free trial. I also added in this tub of Energize and then she gives her like, um, testimony of Ener Energize. This stuff is awesome and it actually gets me to work out every day. Like literally this is how I wake myself up in the morning and work out and get my workout in. It's like motivation in a cup, right? She goes, I put that in there. You can take it out if you don't want it. I just think if you're going to be trying to get into a new routine, this would be very helpful for you. And then, so what it'll do is it, when they open up that link, it'll show the price, you know, for right now they'll be charged for the Energize right away, which is like $40. And then two weeks later, they'll be charged for the Beachbody On Demand. So if somebody's really struggling with money, this might be better for them to be able to afford the $40 now and then $40 in two weeks. For you, you get an awesome little commission and a customer, and you can upgrade them later to a challenge pack when they can afford it. Does that make sense? Then you're not leaving them go and you're giving them something. You're getting a small win. You might not get success club points, but you're selling something and you're helping somebody get into a routine of fitness. And I think about you, Lynette, because on the other day you were talking, you're like, you know, I started with my habits. I started with fitness, right? You started like getting some confidence by finishing a program, right? So this person, you're literally still helping them. You're getting them into a program. You're getting them to gain some confidence, right? Now, is this the best solution for most people? I mean, probably not. The, the challenge packs have so much more value in it. I mean, so much. If you think about what they're getting for like $80 versus what we give them for $160, it's really a lot less value. However, if they're really struggling, we don't want to let, just let them go, right? We want to help them. So this is a great way to help them. Can, will some people take the Energize out? Yeah, they will, but it doesn't matter. We're still going to help them get into that fitness routine, right? And then we can move on with other things for them. We can piecemeal it. They don't always have to have a challenge pack to get success, right? It's a really good, valuable way for them to get success, to get all those tools. But we don't wanna just let them go and say, no, you can't do anything with us if they can't afford the challenge pack, right? So the other thing I was, I was talking to Amy about this. The other thing is there's so many coaches. I mean, a ton. We all can have, there's also like, billions of people. So I'm not saying that we can't, we won't have enough people to help, but 
there's a ton of coaches. And if you're talking to someone and they're very, very interested and you can't help them right now by connecting, you know, have you become their coach and they move on like a month later, maybe their sister-in-law signs up as a, a coach and they're like, yeah, hey, come join me. And they're like, oh, you know what? Actually I can now. Well, we just lost that customer. So this helps also with retaining customers, like getting them on board right away when they're hot, when they're excited, right? So that's a, it's a huge piece. And um, I think it's something that we have kind of neglected, um, but I don't think we should. I think, our, I think we should, it's a win-win for everybody. It helps the customer start getting success right away, gaining confidence right away, helps you because you're gaining customers right away. So um, I want to keep that, I want everybody to keep that in mind when they're talking to someone. On the flip side, it might be the same for like nutrition. Maybe they don't want nutrition, uh, maybe they don't want to be working out first and they want to start with nutrition. They don't have all the money. Maybe talk to them about a three-day refresh. You know what I mean? Like think outside the box here and ask questions. If they're like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I really want this, but I don't have the money. Ask them some more questions, right? You have a whole huge toolbox of, of solutions for people. So don't forget that and make sure that you're helping them find a solution for them that can work now. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right. So that is all I'm going over tonight. Short and sweet. Um, no problem, <laughs> Beth is like, I wasn't on mute. Um, that's fine. So does anybody have any other questions before we go? No, perfect. Okay, so here are your homework. Your homework is to, this should not be a surprise, invite every day, follow up every day, post. I hope you found out what story, how to do a story. That was like your homework from last week. Figure out how to do a story. Um, and do, 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 do. Oh, and I'm adding one this week. This week is to check in with your challenge groups every single day and find somebody to shout out. So when I say shout out, I mean like go into your group, see who like, was it, did someone do their first workout ever? Did someone like for the first time ever stick with five days of fitness? Did someone drink their first Shakeology? Did someone earn their first $50? Like find something in the group to shout out and then shout them out on your stories. Say something, type something, whatever it is. Just don't use their last name without their permission, right? <laughs> um, but shout somebody out. This is all part of recognition. It's really big. It shows that you're part of something. Um, if you don't want to shout someone out or you can't find something, maybe talk about your, your um, success this week. But one little thing every day in your stories would be big. So here are some more questions. Um, as a diamond, do you need 90 on HD or 100? I always get confused. 90. It's 100, Olivia, but it's really not a big deal because your customer sales count as that. And at some point ab above the line, um, I think it's Star Diamond, it has to be on HD. So these are just all things. I highly recommend that every time you hit a promotion or about to hit a promotion, make sure you're going um, on the FAQs to figure out what you actually need for that promotion. Yes, Lynette, next week we were going to talk more about gaining a following on social media. Okay. Um, but in the meantime, I don't want to just ignore that question. So on Facebook, I recommend making sure that you go through, like when you're inviting, if you see someone that you're like, oh my gosh, I love them. Um, go to their friends and look through and see if you can find a bunch of mutual friends. So I'll tell you exactly what I did to go from like, I don't know, a couple hundred people on Facebook to like 4,000 people on Facebook. And it's all through mutual friends. I'll go into, let's say I go into, um, I would never do this with a coach. Don't do this with someone. Like I wouldn't go to Courtney and be like, I'm going to mm -hmm. friend request all her mutual friends. I wouldn't do that. But find somebody who's not a coach that you love, right? And go to their friends on their social, on their Facebook. And then what I do is I search through them and find people that I have like 10 or more mutual friends with. 
I don't just go clicking on people if I don't have a ton of mutual friends because Facebook would put you in Facebook jail. So I do go through and I have a limit. Mm. Like mine is 10. I want 10, at least 10 mutual friends, like friends that we have in common, and then I'll friend request them. Does that make sense? Yeah. And when you reach I, out to them, it, do you just, is it like, hey, nice to meet you? So actually, I, I, I do after they accept. So... Um, and it won't be like right away, maybe a day or two, a week later, <laughs> but I'll say something like, um, actually, I don't remember what I say. I have somebody else do it for me. Um, but I say something like, Hey, it's good to, um, be able to connect on here. Looking forward to getting to know you better. Something like that. Um, it's very generic because I made it so that if I j literally just saw them at a conference last week or yesterday or met, saw them at the grocery store that it would still make sense that this message would still make sense <laughs> mm. <laughs> because I've ran into that issue. Um, so yeah, I do send a message. Um, also I send birthday messages to everybody as well. And that helps me like, it helps, it helps me get to know them a little bit more and it, and it helps um, that if they reply, if we talk back and forth, they'll see more of my social media posts. Um, so yeah, so birthday messages and adding people through mutual friends, I do that all the time. Um, in Instagram, you could do the same thing. You could go through mutual friends, like go to their followers and add people. In Instagram, it's different. You don't need to like have a ton of mutual friends. That's not a like a, a thing really. <laughs> but, um, the other thing is I do, we do have all kinds of trainings for social media. I mean, for Instagram, like a whole ton of trainings. So if, mm. if Instagram is something that you want to build upon, um, and you want to kind of go the Instagram route, then I can send something over to you to help you, um, learn more on that. Um, the only, the only thing I'm okay. going to I'd appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. The only thing I'm going to say about that is never forget that an overtrained coach is not someone who's active. <laughs> we can easily overtrain ourselves and get really deep into this like Instagram hole of trying to get more followers and then totally lose sight of what we should be doing every day. And it will shoot you in the foot if you do that. So mm. always focus first on the invites, the follow-ups, those are your two main, main things. And then look for the, the rest of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's so important. I can't even tell you, I can't, like, I almost lost my whole business multiple times because of getting distracted. So try not to get distracted, stick with those two things and then add more. Um, anything else? I think that's it. <laughs> tell Michael to go away <laughs> sorry the other one was my son like making the dog growl and I'm like stop <laughs> <laughs> all right I think we are good I'm literally losing my voice so I'm gonna go <laughs> hope you guys have a great night if you don't have any other questions I'm super excited about this week I know this was kind of like a like a not like hugely exciting call, but I, we got to stay focused on those, on those vital behaviors of inviting and following up. All right, Amy, stay right where you are. Cause this is a hilarious picture. Oh, darn it. You moved right there. Oh, you keep moving. Never mind. Okay. It looked funny. It looked like Amy's body and my head on Amy's body. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really funny. <laughs> Okay. All right. Have an awesome night, guys. I'll talk to you later. Good night. <laughs>